Good morning, this is Deanna with Ferns Frills, and today we're going to showcase Harry Potter. Okay, so last year, you guys saw this box that I made, and you can go back in the videos. It's uh, Harry Potter. Um, and everybody loved it, and I did a kit and all that good kind of stuff, and it was cool. So this year, I decided to do the monster book. And I have put this up for sale on the um, Pink Minis 2011.blogspot.com um, silent auction for the um, cure for breast cancer. And he's the monster book of monsters, but I like to call him the monster book of minis. I mean, mo monster book of memories. And so... He is, this is all sewn. They're not glued. His little um, snaggly teeth are, uh, you know, just little jewels and gems on there. And he's got all those. And really, um, I didn't want to put a title on it, really, because I think that's kind of personal to whoever wants to do it. But I was going to put Monster Book of Memories. <laughs> and it's held together with a belt because you know when you open him you got to open him fast because he'll bite you <laughs> so here is the inside and the mini and the it's made with the same exact box as the other one and it's school days it is the same mini as last year it worked so well, I just needed something quick and fast, so I just copied it. Alright, so you just untie it. You've got a working working frame here. All the frames in the entire book are working frames. It is a um, chipboard slash um, paper bag mini album. So you've got paper bags uh, backed with the chipboard uh, to make it um, have a lot more real estate and st stronger. I did bind it with ribbon, and as you'll see, it works pretty good. All right, so here we go. We have got, I did a page for each of the houses in Hogwarts. Okay, we've got, if you're a Harry Potter fan, which you would be if you were looking at this, um, picture frames are big because all the uh, people inside the picture frames move. So I have a lot of picture frames through here. Um, and like I said, they're all workable. This one is the um, Hufflepuff page, and it's got Hufflepuff's... Um, logo, the Hogwarts logo, and Hufflepuff seal. And you've got a Hufflepuff uh, journaling and photo spot, and some more, and a little whole book. Um, you've got Diagon Alley, and a whole book full, six pages there, full of spaces for photo mats and journaling and as I said it is a paper bag so you do have your large photo mats in here and each one of those have those um, and turn the page this one is Ravenclaw they are the studious genius types <laughs> And your back of every bag opens out, and you've got three pages. And this is the um, headlines in the newspaper, the Daily Prophet, and of course some more um, picture frames, and Quidditch, and uh, you've got your, your nice photo and journaling spots in here also. And then, of course, in your in your bag, 
You've got um, my kids in the background who don't realize that I'm recording, and so you'll hear that. But um, you've, now we've got Slytherin. This is Slytherin. And we've got the Quidditch with the broom, journaling spots, and as you can see, his potion is actually pouring into the pot, and it's got some die-cut little um, red drops going in there. And this is the owl post. You've got all of your um, your owls, and this is a, an entire book. Um, I'm going to have to come back in just a minute. Okay, so now we're back. And, of course, your, your owl post page has to have a letter from your owl. So you've got some picture frames, a whole, um, these are tags that come out. You can um, journal on them. I've got journaling lines. Each one of these has, um, has a picture frame, picture mat. Um, and tags and a pocket on them. So you have a whole little book in itself there. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven places there. And then, of course, as I said, you've got your potions page with Slytherin and your tag, your journaling and photo mats. I just love it. I think they're so cool. This this says um, over here it says owl, and here it says post. And of course the inside of your paper bag, and then you turn the page, and now we have got Gryffindor. Yay! Okay, so here's a large photo mat here. Harry with his um, the Quidditch cup. And um, the Hogwarts um, emblem, and we've got another uh, full book here that comes out. It's got pockets, tags, and mats. So each one of these that um, does this, they come out. You've got places for journaling and photos. They are embossed, dry embossed. Um, so as you can see there's a lot of places on this one also and of course you've got the back let me just slip that back in there and I will pull it up like this and there it is so that one also is a full book in itself and then here you have again the Gryffindor and then an entire trifold um, with your, let me put this down real quick, with your workable frames, your Hogwarts flourishes, photo mats, both sides, and journaling spots. And then, of course, the inside of your, um, the inside of your paper bag. Turn to the back. You've got this Harry Potter and guess what this is? <laughs> this is an entire map on one side. Show you here. This is your your um, Marauders map where Harry can go all, do all his stuff. On the back, it is matted for all of them to have uh, different pictures on each one, and they are large. They're um, good two and a half by two and a half uh, pictures on each of those. So you've got that entire deal. All right, so this book is up for auction on the... Um, pinkminis2011.blogspot.com site 
and it all proceeds for this uh, go to the Susan G. Komen Foundation and this has been organized by Laura Dennison at Following the Paper Trail and there's all kinds of minis. If you don't like Harry Potter and you don't like, you know, this kind of thing, there's beautiful, beautiful stuff over there. And it's for a great cause. You guys, head on over and see it. And if you would pass the word along, I am having a, a um, giveaway on my site for everybody who posts about the Pink Minis. 2011 silent auction. Now, if you do a video, we are going. I'm going to give you five entries, and anywhere else posting, you can post as many times as you want to. I don't care. Everywhere, anywhere, you can put it on a um, guy's site. It doesn't make any difference. These make great Christmas presents. Get the word out on Facebook, Twitter, everybody. Let's have people really coming over to the site. We're actually about halfway there this morning. I I looked and yippee! Um, Laura had set a a goal for um, 3000 and today is the start of the third day of the auction. It goes till next sat till Saturday the 5th and we're at $1,527 as far as I can tell this morning. So this is great. Love it. Um, everybody get on over there, get the word out, and like I say, if you let me know that you've posted, I will be glad to put you into my giveaway. I have not posted what I am going to give away yet, but it is going to be wonderful. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching.